Hey guys, Joyce and Anthony aka JJ here. And I know normally I stick to 2D, but with this new feature that Daniel Martinez released about the key mesh ad add-on, I had to play around with it. And if you want the link, I provided it in the description. Once you download the link, you're going to go to edit, preferences, add-ons, then click install. And then it should be on your desktop, then click the zip file. And then you go to the search. I just typed in key mesh and then it's object key mesh alpha. You check that. And then mine, it's auto, it's already saved, but you can go down and click save preferences. So now if you press in, your new key mesh tab will appear. And the two options are keyframe mesh and purge key mesh data. Off camera, I made Sergio. And to show you guys what the lighting is coming from, I added a little, I think that's an area light, and then I added an HDRI from HDRI, HDRI Haven for the lighting. I wanted like a soft glow. So now it's time to go in and sculpt and play around with the key mesh. Again, you press in. Oh wait, well now I'm, I added a, a dope sheet at the bottom for my animation. Then I press in and then I press key mesh. When it's time to start making the animation, you press key mesh data and we'll make a keyframe. And then I tried both ways. I tried um, pressing key mesh data, the button, and then making an adjustment or then making an adjustment, then pressing key mesh and it's the same. There's no difference. So whatever you do, it will, sorry, it will animate <laughs> for you. And purging key mesh data will just erase everything. So like if I press that right now, it will erase my keyframes that I just made. And this is the short animation that I made. I wanted to include this part. So I, you know, off camera, I adjusted Sergio and I wanted to try the key mesh, you know, animating with him. And I used the um, pose brush. And when I tried to, like, it's fine right now. When I tried to press the key mesh, he completely disappeared. So I don't know if this is a bug. I don't know if anybody else is experiencing this, but it's very weird. So unfortunately I had to scrap Sergio enhanced and go back to the regular monkey. So this is a little, a little animation that I made with Sergio the monkey. Right here, I wanted to experiment if I use two different characters and try to key mesh with that to see how that would look. And here's the animation with both characters.
Another cool effect that you can add to the key mesh, key mesh animation are modifiers. So I was playing around, the remaining video is just me playing around with different modifiers and seeing how that changes the animation. And what I noticed is, ooh, whoa. It looks like a balloon. Um, when I added modifiers, if you remember, when there's no modifiers, Sergio's eyes fall to the ground. But when I add modifiers, his eyes kind of disappeared, which was interesting. Again, I hope you learned something new about this new key mesh add-on provided by Daniel Martinez. And again, I put the link to download in the description. And I also saved this, I saved the blend file and put it on Gumrod for a dollar if you wanted to continue to play around with it. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to Blender's mascot, Suzanne and Sergio. This is Joyce and Anthony, aka JJ. Until next time.